October 7th, 2024. How's it going, guys? Well, I've got another video for you. What are we going to talk about? Kansas City, Independence, Missouri. We're going to talk about crime. We're going to talk about drugs. We're going to talk about the homeless. And we're going to talk about right now about parking lots. Now, today when I was at the zoo, when I come back after walking the zoo and I'm filming some of the animals, there was a vehicle that had its door open off to my passenger side, but there was nobody around. Now, I wouldn't have thought too much about this, but about five days before, there was another vehicle where I was parked. And there, there are vehicles that sometimes there's people that have like uh, wheelchairs and different things like that and stuff, but that wasn't what this was. There was no uh, handicap like license plate or anything else like on it. About five days ago, there was another vehicle that was beside me and the door was open, but there was nobody around. And I just thought, well, that's kind of weird. You know, I mean, it wasn't like they were pulled up in front. I mean, we're in the parking lot here. These vehicles are parked side by side, pretty close. So today when I got back to my vehicle, there was another vehicle off to my passenger side. Fairly looked like new SUV. The door was open, but there was nobody in it. Nobody to be seen anywhere around close around this thing. And uh, it's something probably to be aware of because to me, it just, I don't know, it doesn't look correct. I mean, you never know if somebody could be hiding in one of these vehicles, try to grab somebody. You know, you don't know or be sitting there waiting to rob somebody i'm going to show that and uh but what i could see there was nobody in this one either and uh it was it had out-of-state tags on it and uh i can't imagine you know i even if i had a rental car i just wouldn't leave the walk off i mean like went out to vegas out there got a, a rental car out there in las vegas I wouldn't just leave the door open and walk away from it. I mean, uh, that's just a little weird, guys. So let's take a look at this. Okay, guys. Now what you're looking at is this vehicle. And this door is no more than, I don't know, uh, half an inch from my, kind of like my mirror, my fender. And there is nobody around this vehicle. Now, this is, this is my car right here, and uh, I always have to check my antifreeze because I usually have to top it off because I have a leak. But uh, this was weird. Now, this is today. This is today. And uh, I just can't imagine somebody just walking away. Like I say, five days ago, there was another vehicle, but it was on my driver's side on that one. And it was just vacant empty too <laughs> so i don't know so hold on and here's after i got back in my vehicle this is another shot of it right here and you can see how close like i say this was no more than an inch from my uh mirror there and they just left it like that nobody around now, is that weird or what, guys? Like I said, I wasn't thinking much about this, but uh, five days beforehand, there was another vehicle. And, I mean, you can see all these other cars, like, over here. I mean, they're all side by side. I don't see any doors open. Now, that was just weird. Very strange. Okay, guys. Now, this is from my uh, dash cam, not my body cam. And, uh... There's a vehicle. And the door just opened like that. Nobody around. That's weird. Wanted to show that, guys. So, hold on. I also wanted to show this, guys. This was down, I think I think that's by Manse Manchester Street. Down there, as you come out of the zoo there. But somebody had dropped a, a big old bag of, like, tree brush or something right there this is right out in the middle of the road okay guys and i wanted to show this this was fairly early today and uh this is at a uh, toys r us in a uh, gorman's lot up there 
And it just never faces amaze me. Uh, there's always got to be somebody sitting here. Now, there was a Chinese guy that was sitting here last few days in a vehicle. And then we got a gal in, in, in this uh, yellow Jeep. Interesting. And then we have another guy sitting down here in this vehicle down here. I mean, uh, you know, this is like where the old Hardys and all the rest of them, I mean, they took down and stuff. I mean, what are they doing? I mean, what are they doing? I don't know. I even had one. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Oh, yeah, guys. And, man, the, the homeless, homeless bunch of people out here have really picked up. I counted over uh, 15 of them going up and down my street today, which is really kind of unusual. But, see, this is how they uh, go back up here by the old cinema. Here's one right here. So, hold on. Oh, and by the way, we don't want to forget all that trash that they're uh, leaving, making more and more, you know. Look at all this. Look at all that trash, too. I wanted to show that, too. We don't want to forget about that. One thing I did find interesting, there was a, a Lincoln that was over here, over here at this Gordman's. Like I say, a lot of drug dealing going on over here in this in this parking lot. But what was really amazing is where this Lincoln pulled in at because there was a gal I went to school with from a Raytown High School. She was married to a guy, and uh, they owned this uh, shop up here. And what was really something, I'm going to put that cursor right there. See where my cursor is? That's where that Lincoln pulled back into. Now, I don't know if it was just, you know, going from parking lot to parking lot or whatever. But, uh, interesting. But you can see, you can see that Lincoln right there. And they had some kind of a, I don't know, it was kind of like a novelty shop, antique, like little shop there and stuff. I don't think they're married anymore. But, uh, anyway, uh, interesting. But I just thought this was really interesting. This went from the vacant druggy Gordman's lot over to this over here. Hmm. All right, guys. So I had to go uh, down to Lowe's down there, get a couple things. And I come back and I had to make, well, I thought I'd make one more pass. But you notice this, here's another one of those white vehicles. I know there's a lot of white SUVs out there, but what on my street, she, Jackson County Sheriff or Independence Police just sat here. I'm sure that they could sit here and check a couple of these vehicles out because some of these make like 20 runs a night between like midnight and 4 a.m. in the morning. I don't think it'd be that hard. Actually, uh, one of these vehicles... One of the white ones. Uh, you know that uh, vehicle that sits down there at uh, Lee Summit off by Bass Pro? There was a, uh, this guy, he's had like three different gals. There was a white gal that was uh, passed out. Then there was a uh, another gal, taller gal. But then there was a black gal. And uh, I noticed today when I went by there early this morning, there was a white SUV and uh, this uh, black lady was sleeping inside that vehicle. So it just makes you wonder what, you know, how they're moving all this stuff. And they're moving a lot of stuff. Got to have something to pay for that gasoline and all that other stuff, right guys? And we got one over here, sitting right here. Hmm, now this was probably about, oh, I don't know, maybe one, maybe two at the latest. So, I don't know. But isn't that interesting? And I think, I don't know if there was a, yeah, yeah. You see this right here? 
See that right there? There's a car sitting there underneath that tree right there. Now, a year ago, I was showing, like, people, there was guys walking up to this vehicle, and uh, they were buying drugs. Now, it, what's really something, too, is uh, this is where that Terminex car was setting, too. And uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, that's just uh, funky. I mean, who wants to go up and set in a parking lot, a vacant, abandoned parking lot? Let's see if I can brighten that up. Hold on. Well, that's a little bit better. And uh, the thing of it is, they get underneath those trees like that, and uh, it makes it real easy for them to for them to walk from the trailer court and other places up by the barred stuff and walk back here and pass that stuff. Something independence. You know, I mean, think about it. If you've seen cars sitting underneath these trees like that. I mean, if they're homeless, they could they could go pull in the park. I mean, the daytime during hours and nobody could say anything. Why would they need to be sitting in a... Uh, Abandoned parking lot where a lot of drug stuff goes on. Hmm. Don't know, guys. Hold on. I wanted to show this real quick, too, because, like I say, the volume today was massive. I mean, usually we have maybe two, maybe three regulars that go up. But I counted up to 15 of these. And there was even a couple guys going door to door to some of these houses. Now, like I say, I got no trespassing signs and no soliciting and everything else. But what I found really inter real, was really interesting, this one house next door to me, two different guys went up to it individually, one, and then the other one went to the house again, which was weird. Let's see if I can find that. Hold on. Here's one of the guys right here this afternoon. Really funky. Look at those... Shoes, too, he had on. Let's go back here just for a second. <laughs> well, that was kind of weird. And then there was another gentleman that followed. This gentleman went over to the house on the left side of me, on the west side, went up to the door. And then he left out. And then there wasn't just a about a minute or two later, another guy did the same thing again. Now, that was weird. Now, hold on. I'll let you guys see the rest of it. Let it run through here. So you can see he's walking on up. So, hold on. Now, there was a gentleman. He was. Uh, he went up on the porch, talked to one of them, and he left. And then there was another one. Very strange. Very weird. Okay, guys. And here's the second one. The other guy hadn't even got out of view yet. And then the other guy. Don't want any of those guys coming up on my property. Maybe they could read no trespassing. What do you think, guys? Hmm. I don't know. But this is uh, East 47th Street South here in Independence, Missouri, in Kansas City. So you guys want to keep your eyes open. And, uh, I mean, I don't know, one right after another. I don't know, that seemed a little bit strange. Well, let's wrap it up right now, guys. But, uh, keep your eyes open and, uh, definitely stay safe out there. Have a good one, guys.